Hi y'all, I'm Kathy Corsi and I'm here today to talk about one of my favorite dessert recipes. So easy. It, I've been baking this cake for probably about 15 years, taking it to all the get togethers and it's always a hit and everyone always asks for the recipe. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. So this is my favorite chocolate chip butt cake recipe. I actually got this recipe out of a little community newspaper about 10 years ago and it has been the biggest hit and it's so easy to do. So I want to share with you exactly um, the ingredients that go into it and kind of my prep beforehand. So you just, you want to get a yellow cake mix. It can be any cake mix. It doesn't have to be name brand. Uh, same with the chocolate pudding. You have a whole bag of chocolate chips. Um, vanilla, eggs, oil, sour cream, water, and for the Bundt Cake Pan itself, I use Baker's Joy, and as you can see, I have heavily sprayed the pan. Um, this prevents any sticking. I have never had a Bundt Cake stick before um, because I use the Baker's Joy, so this is essential to make sure that your cake doesn't stick. So now I'm just going to put all the ingredients into the mixer. Um, you, I've had my little KitchenAid mixer for about 20 years now. Got it as a wedding gift. But you can use a hand mixer. It doesn't matter. You just want to get all your ingredients put in. And so you just want to um, mix everything together with the exception of the chocolate chips on about medium speed for two minutes. And then towards the end, after everything has been mixed really well, you want to add your chocolate chips. And you can just see after you've mixed it up really well, it, it's just a nice smooth texture. And that's when you want to go ahead and add your chocolate chips. And you want to just blend it on low just until it has um, got all the chocolate chips spread through it. So now I'm just going to pour the cake into the cake pan. Um, you'll see that it's very, very thick and it's supposed to be thick like this. Um, it's a real dense cake and you want it to be just this texture right here. So don't worry if you see it and it looks really thick because that's exactly how it's supposed to be. And I just like to shake mine real well uh, just to kind of make sure it's evened out inside. And this is what it's going to look like here. It'll be real thick. Um, you're going to put it in the oven on 325. Uh, the recipe says for 50 minutes. However, in my oven, it cooks for an hour and four minutes. So just based on how your oven cooks, whether it cooks hotter than normal, um, you want to base how long you put the cake in on that. But I would start with the 50 minutes. So I just got the cake out of the oven and it baked for an hour and four minutes in my oven. And you can see this is what it looks like right now. Um, I like to test it and make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So I use a butter knife because this cake is a lot thicker than a traditional cake like in a 13 by nine pan. And so I just kind of put the butter knife in there, not all the way down, and it'll come out clean. You'll see just a little bit of cake on it and that's fine. Um, it might even be a little uh, wet from the chocolate chips. So as long as it, it isn't runny, your cake's good. It's finished. And then you want to invert it because it's gonna have to sit here for a while and um, cool off. So you just want to put it on a little stand for it to cool. You can see how easily the cake just came out of that bunt pan. Like I was talking about earlier, that that Baker's Joy just coat it on there and your cake will come out perfect every time. It will not stick. So right now, this is what we have. 
and we want to let it cool for a while before we put it in any kind of container. It's best served warm, and but if you are not going to be serving it immediately, you want it to cool completely and um, before you put it in your cake dome pan. Okay, so we've let it cool for an hour, and now it's time to try a little bit. Um, the great thing about this cake is that if you are not going to eat it all at one time, you can cut it up in slices and freeze it in the freezer and when you pull it out to thaw it's just like you made, had just made it. So it's really a great cake to eat. We've even had it in the morning because um, it's similar to like a, a muffin bread and we've had it for breakfast as well. All right, okay. let's check it out. Mm. Still warm. Still warm. It's good. Well, if you like this video, click like below. Uh, want more videos to come? Subscribe to this channel, Mr. Corsi's Classroom. Thanks for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.